Want to see three huge dropshipping stores reviewed? Let's go. Hi guys and welcome to today's video on reviewing top end dropshipping stores to help you learn. Before we get into it though, make sure you register for my upcoming webinar. My webinar is just around the corner guys. I'm super excited. Uh, there's a link down below, okay, just to register for my webinar, 100% free. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my videos and hit the notification bell and comment down below if you like today's video. And follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. Further to this as well, I provide a 100% free cheat sheet. There's a link down below. Get it now, all right, and let's get started. So, with this anyway these are three stores you're going to see very shortly one is probably one of the biggest actual websites in uh, for traffic in the US we're gonna start with badass baby badass baby is as the name suggests a baby niche store it's one of the biggest ones in the baby niche um, uh, store for drop shipping you can see that they've actually they're using the Brooklyn theme okay they're using the Brooklyn theme as I've always recommended. There's nothing wrong with Brooklyn. It just needs to be clean and crisp. Okay, people like clean and crisp. And that's what they've gone for here. That clean, crisp feel people like. All right, they do have a number of apps. Again, we're gonna use e-commerce, sorry, Commerce Inspector to help um, understand this. They like using the free shipping bar, happy email, just, you know, Clavio, of course, retard, possibly that, opt-in monk, Criterio, uh, Criteo, sorry, Wheelio, Beth Currency Converter, Horrify. Um, I've never used that one, I presume that's for SEO. Uh, McAfee, Product Upsell, a lot of apps. Okay, guys, they're using a lot of apps, and there's nothing wrong with using a lot of these apps, all right? They're, they're using these apps to help automate their business, okay? And so we're going to see these in action. So this is one of them here straight away, is uh, from Fire Push to try and help send notifications to people's phones. Um, I don't use that. I don't recommend using that. I actually find just Messenger alone and text works perfectly fine. So you can see here that they've pretty much made their homepage just full of all their products. Okay, guys, full of all their products. And they've got personalizer down the bottom here. And then they've got their, their guarantees for when people scroll, their payment methods they accept, and their social media presence. All right. And then obviously they have their their various policies, which is really important, which is good. And they've even got live chat and that you can subscribe to their email list. Um, I recommend on the, any of these stores to subscribe to email lists so that you can get free marketing ideas. Flat 30% off using blah, blah, free shipping on all orders. That's why it's so important to use the free shipping bar. Okay, and they're just using it in free mode. You can see here that they've actually gone to the degree of making their store in multiple uh, languages as well, so that it helps actually with their SEO as well as um, just their marketing when marketing to other countries. So if we have a look at their clothing and apparel, okay, we're gonna see here that they, they have really, especially on products that have sold well, uh, branded them. I do not recommend selling actual branded items. I don't know if they have legal right to this, but and things like you know anything to do with superheroes do not sell unless you have the legal right. They are huge companies. It is not recommended to do that. Um, you can see here they've got a number of kids items. I mean, especially for baby showers and stuff like that. It's really important. If we have a look at this product, we can see the cutest warm romper. They've got the reviews. That's from Looks. They have say 50% off three days left for urgency. We ship to Australia. So they have a little app. Uh, I believe that's a little app that just puts the flag so that they know that it ships to Australia. They've got the shaky add to cart button with the buy it now, the various kids sizes that they can choose from. Um, and obviously that updates the pricing there. And they have bulk order discounts followed by trust badge and uh, uh, recart using the auto tick. Okay guys. And so you can see they've done, they've put a lot of effort into that. They've put a lot of effort into this description too, because this is clearly a product that has sold quite well for them. Um, that's why they've gone to that. They've gone and added a shipping and delivery so that people have better idea of shipping and delivery methods, as well as the expected timeframes. And obviously they're guaranteed, all right? So they, they go to that degree so that they don't get chargebacks or angry customers. All right, guys, and so if we have a look here, uh, again, I always encourage using this. You can see that they uh, don't add a huge amount of products. They do add a number every now and again. You can see their last was seven days ago. Okay, 
So they do add various products, but they don't add them every day. They probably do a bit of research to find these and then uh, they try and um, they, they test them out on Facebook. And how I know that they're testing it out on Facebook is there's another app called SimilarWeb. So you can actually see in the United States, they're 504,000 in terms of uh, their actual rank in the US um, with a 56% overall bounce rate, which is pretty damn decent, okay? The estimated visits is about 36,000. So you can see they're getting 36,000 people on average a month with about half of them leaving uh, as a bounce. Okay, and the reason we also use this is um, we can see they have a lot of direct traffic. So what that likely means is that um, they're doing a lot of email marketing, messenger marketing, text marketing. Most of the time that is uh, an SEO, okay? They're doing search campaigns, which on Google, and they're doing Facebook campaigns. You can see that, oh, sorry, they do have email. Sorry, direct is just SEO, then my apologies. And they're doing display, which is display is for remarketing. But that you can see that they're actually doing quite a bit of Google. Okay, guys, don't discount Google. Um, a lot more people are gonna be using Google as Facebook gets flooded. Um, but we can see here, if we go through, I like to give the full deal survey. They're trying to heavily upsell you, okay? Um, I don't recommend this type of upsell. Uh, really interrupts the experience. Uh, I, I just like to send them straight to the cart page and then do an in-cart upsell, which I believe they're doing, which they are. So they are trying every step to try and do in-cart upsells. Um, they have the um, trust badge, okay? They have the trust badge for extra trust, the, the button above the cart so that uh, helps with the click-through rates, okay guys? Um, and then they've got these to try and um, get them on. Oh, look at that, that was my first winner ages ago. Ha, I didn't realize people could still sell it. Anyway, so, uh, one of my first winners, I should say. Um, but anyway, so we can see how they can go to check out. One thing I recommend that they should be doing is using the Add to Cart Pro, so that when we scroll down, we still see the Add to Cart button no matter how far we scroll. I found that helps with click-through rates um, and subsequently then sales, okay guys? So it's really important. But what they've done here is an ample example and you can see how this is just using Brooklyn. That's why I wanted to start with this one. Um, you can see that they are using uh, Trust Badge. Now, I don't know if they are um, by Blue Snap if they are an authorized, but anyway, that's fine. It's just there for, uh, just for trust purposes. They've put that they have, have apparently sent over 350,000 packages worldwide because they are a large store. They're using the conversion pirate checkout hack, which is definitely recommended. Okay, and you can, so you can pretty much see that's what they've done. You can, you, you're starting to see that there's not a huge amount of difference. They have just basically gotten a free theme and they have modified it just using, um, that happens at times, it's a bug but they have just been using, you know, like you can see here that they even, um, they, they're they using like a FOMO related app um, being, you know, pop-ups to, to give value um, and show that, tr so trust, pardon me, sorry. Um, they're showing shipping, secure payments, 30 day guarantees, customer service, licensed products. Uh, we love seeing balance papers, okay? People love seeing that stuff. It's, it's really important to them. It's just subtle ways of, of people building trust with your business, okay? And that's why they've gone to this degree while also retaining a fast site speed. So people that think that you can't have fast site speed when you have a lot of apps injected into your theme, that's not true. Um, they have, you know, their reviews, they have, uh, that's for um, social logins, they have uh, Facebook Live, they're tracking it using uh, Trackify, okay guys? So that's why uh, it's so important because they're, they're also doing a lot of Google um, to try and diversify their traffic. Okay guys, so let's move on to the next one. I wanted to leave this open because it comes up because a lot of people ask me this um, about using Wheelio, all right? A lot of people ask me, ah, oh, Wheelio looks spammy. I shouldn't use it, all right? That's not true. You should use it, okay? Um, and it's, it's very powerful. These people are using it well, obviously for Christmas, they have it set, so see how as well people get incentivized, $20, $100, 50% off, all right, because the other ones they don't see, and it's just going to spin. The goal is they want to get your email address and give you a discount, probably like a 10% discount code, 
Um, but they need to add a scarcity bar that it's nearly finished so to get more people interested. Uh, this website here, the Enchanted Forest, if we have a look here, is pretty highly ranked um, and its global ranks significantly higher. We can see in the United States it's, it's getting a lot more traffic. So we can see here we're getting you know, nearly 100,000 uh, currently. That's, I just think, because it hasn't updated. They've got a really low bounce rate, guys, okay? So they've got a really low bounce rate. Their sources, though, is very different, all right? Their bounce rate is different because on Facebook, your bounce rate's higher, whereas on using Google and Direct, it's lower. That's why more people are using Google now. So that they're not using the display network, they're just using search. So if you actually search for their business, you'd probably find in Google that they're there. Okay, so they're actually using nearly 50-50 for, for their traffic sources. So they've really gone down the path of using Google. You can see here that they're using the app I recommend, which is um, Add to Cart Pro, and they've configured that so that it has the same color and it shakes. They don't have the shake there. Um, I do recommend having that. I don't recommend a 60 day money back guarantee. I always recommend a uh, 30 day money back guarantee. This product, this magical glow in the dark ring that I just found is uh, definitely a winning product. Um, how, and that's why they're probably using Google a lot more because margins on Facebook would be harder to, you know, the, the product costs probably less than a dollar and it probably costs a couple of dollars for shipping. So they can make, you know, they can make three, four dollars, all right? And uh, so, but on Facebook that can be kind of hard. So they, that's probably why they're using Google, all right? You can see again that they've basically just got um, a slight description, click add to cart. They don't have like any individual specifics about it, high quality, okay? So people like specifics. I recommend if you're doing jewelry to go into specifics. Um, you can see here that they're, those are really long, you know, business days. I know they're doing that to cover their backside, but that is an incredibly long time, okay? Having to wait a month, okay? A month plus possibly for your order just to the United States. Do not recommend that, okay? Where unfortunately now, we we can't get away with long shipping times though that day and age has passed all right guys so you can see here customers frequently bought together another thing you want to use commerce inspector for is they're using turbo they're using the turbo theme okay so if we have a look here products they are testing or adding new products regularly nearly every day in fact one product we can see here that they're adding new products with different margins all right and so you can see you can see that if we have a look at their apps again they're using Clavio, Conversio, Pop Up. You know a lot of looks very popular. Recart, Cart Hook. Okay, Cart Hook is for third party checkout to try and do upsells. So they're probably trying to get people to buy two of these and other ones at cheaper so they can increase the average order value. It's really important, especially for ten dollars now. It's it's extremely hard otherwise. They're using Intercom for customer service, live chat, live chat. They're, they're trying to track, they're using Trackify for tracking as well, uh, trying to get people to give gifts, okay, to, to encourage them to buy, cross-selling, Wheelio, you're gonna retarget app. So you can see all of those, and you can see it all just from here. And we can actually see, one thing uh, I forgot to mention from the last one that I recommend that they've done is, um, uh, add the date, okay, so that adds more trust. Okay, so we can see here that these, what people would think are the little tick plus that sort of adds that bit of extra trust okay um, and that's important all right and so here I think I don't know why that did that but anyway so if we add to cart now all right so they're trying to make it so you skip the cart page I never recommend skipping the cart page you always want to send them to the cart page but they're sending in people straight to checkout all right um, now it looks like they were using card hook, but they aren't. The reason I know that is because the card hook is single page checkout, okay? Single page checkout, helps with the conversion rates. You can see here that um, they aren't using conversion pirate, which they should. They should also have their logo there. Um, you know, the, if they're getting such amount of traffic, you wanna have your logo, okay guys? People forget the importance of having your logo stamped everywhere. All right, don't ever forget that. Having a consistent logo subconsciously allows you to remember the brand, okay? Because if, if let's say we took out that text and you just saw that and you had seen this brand 50 times, you would actually remember the website, wouldn't you? Okay, most of the, most of the time, unless you've got horrible memory, um, 
which honestly I do, um, you you would associate that logo with the actual name and then you would remember it, okay? And that helps you get organic and free sales. Okay, guys, I don't just talk about just marketing. You know, I think that the best sale is a free sale, okay? And I'll always stand by that. You can see here they've done, they've gotten graphics for their Christmas sale. They've really tried to push that hard. They've uh, made a custom page. They, or this is in the theme, but really tried to uh, make a really nice homepage, which admittedly they have. Um, and they've got really nice graphics. That is probably just a Shopify thing, I think. Uh, image, but they've either way they've gotten these quality images and really sort of home honed their brand. 60 day money back guarantee, they've got their terms, they've got um, their various policies down there, so it really helps with, with their brand, okay. And uh, you know, you can see well, they've gotten these images, these might be legitimate images um, where they've gotten the graphic designer just to make them fit nice so it looks good, all right, guys. So they have done a good job, but you can see here as well that just how these very subtle small things make such a, a massive difference. Okay, so I can just see a few things that they can improve. Overall, obviously they're doing really well, but they can improve on things further. You know, like with all of these for jewelry, you should always be trying to, like that. that is cool. I will admit that is cool. Uh, Anyway, but they should always be trying to do increase the average order value by buy, you know, buy two, get 10% off, okay? It's really important that, that you do that. Don't just think about sales, think about longevity, all right? And so you can see how they could be doing this much better. Obviously, they've got a lot of people that are very interested in these items. Uh, you know, like if I were just to say what interest targeting, it's pretty pretty easy. People like jewelry, people like moons or the, um, uh, people like moon, crystal, um, Jewelry, you know, those are three interests really broad, but I can assure you they'll work quite well And I'm not sure if those are legit images or if those are from uh, Aliexpress, okay So again now you sort of have an idea with that one. They have the whole order status So if we have a look at the order status, what do they use? Okay, so they use an app um, I don't know what app that is. I just use Aftership um, Really works much the same. They've got their story Okay, they've just spent a bit of time on their story, trying to get customer reviews uh, to show social proof and, and who they are, okay? So remember, because one of the biggest things is trust, and contact us and FAQ, okay? So um, you always just want to have a look at this because you can get a lot of ideas for yourself. Moving on, one of the biggest stores that um, I've ever found and seen uh, is it's called Inspire Uplift, guys. Okay, this is a general store. Now, I have no idea who runs this, but it has over 6 million likes, I believe, just on Facebook or something like that. Uh, it's insane. Okay, and this is a general store. These guys are seriously churning through sales. Uh, I don't know if this is the Tan Brothers store or not, but this is just some insane, uh, insane store that a lot of people, funnily enough, don't know about. Um, because look at this, you can see here 51,000 in the world, 14,000 in the US, okay? So we're seeing here one point, okay, so obviously because of Christmas, they would mark up the budget, but 1.4, well, pretty much 1.5 million people. They have a bit of a higher bounce rate as a whole, okay? But 1.5 million visits in a month, okay? And imagine if you got $1 for every one of those, that's one and a half million dollars just from that, right? Right? Does that make sense? I mean, of course, no, you know, you know, not, let's say that 5% of those people converted, even 5% of a million is uh, 50,000 orders, 50,000 orders times by $2 is $100,000, just something simple like that, right? So uh, they're, they're spending big. And this is a general source. So this is the perfect example. What I wanted to illustrate here is, is that you guys really aren't behind at all. A lot of people get confused about the products. But if you have a look at this, you've probably seen that product. You've probably seen this waterproof, waterproof uh, microblading pen. This has heaps of winning products, right guys? And using Commerce Inspector, right? If you use Commerce Inspector, you can see here that they had a period and, uh, for about a week, about 10 days, where they stopped. And now they've added more products, more. They're adding three to five a day on average. Okay, and we can see here, you know, tactical sleep, uh, for airplane, multi-language, smart voice, I've seen that. Uh, power scrubber, okay. Um, anyway, so 
what you could, what my point is here is is that these people would have a team behind them who are just finding these general items that are all need items for the most part. Uh, not all, but of course quite a large amount of them. And they would just then have, probably have their team just going on Facebook just to, to market them. And the reason I know that it would be Facebook is again, we just have a look in sources, we can see that 60% of their overall traffic, okay? They are using the Google display and Google search, okay? So they're doing remarketing as well as um, um, shopping. Um, so that's still an insane amount of, uh, of cash spent. And then they're doing uh, direct, okay? Because obviously they're building their brand. They've got these channels, it looks really nice. We can see their theme um, is, um, I believe it's Retina. I believe this is Retina, which costs 180 US, okay? So if we have a look just in electronics, for instance, this here I know is has been one of their, I'm pretty damn sure this was one of their biggest winners. And what I love about Commerce Inspector, if they haven't changed anything, is we can have a look at their best selling items. Okay, so they don't let me do that. <laughs> and, um, they clearly did some coding so people can't just find their best selling, but you can be pretty assured that most of these uh, are uh, really well selling. But anyway, so you can see here that this beautiful moonlight is um, uh, extremely popular. Um, seen it heap, in, in fact, even in superstores here in Australia, it's, it's a very popular item. Um, and it's not sold in stores, which is just a lie. Okay, so I was right, six million. And I liked it, yes. And anyway, so six million people like their page, okay guys? One of the biggest, okay, so you don't want to, um, you wouldn't want to try and out budget these guys, because I don't know what their budget would be, but it would be insane. You can see how that they, they, they've gone to the utmost degree of doing everything as much as they can. They got the view to cart. I don't know how this looks on mobile, but I imagine it look well. They got the recart. If we have again a look at the apps, um, apps, you know, they, they're using a number of apps, best currency converter, instant search, um, so that it helps where people find what they want, buy more, um, McAfee, personalizer, looks, recart, cart hook, trackify. You know, they're, they're using all of that to track as much as possible and get as good results. Now, what I like is a lot of people have looked at this is the star review color. On the other websites that their star review color was black, but again, we associate star reviews as yellow, don't we? When we think of a star, we think of yellow. Don't change it. Okay, it's little things like that. I do, I would, if I was them, have the date. This is just me, but I think that if you have the star review plus the text plus the date, it adds an extra bit of authenticity because we don't know if that could have been five years ago, in theory, All right? So they're using Personalizer. They've got the whole you know reasons to buy from us. They have their channels. They even have an affiliate. They have uh, their policies. They have their contact us. They're from. Uh, they've got uh, an actual number people can call and an actual. Um, address because these people get churn such big numbers. Okay, so if we go add to cart, see how they're sending them to the cart page? And they're using just an app, that's a free app. Um, I've forgotten the name of it. Um, to try and incentivize or scare people into buying. You can see here they've gone to this degree, they, that they make sure that everyone sees it's always free shipping. Because you want, as much as it's like, oh, it's there, people don't look, okay, people don't look. They want it there, okay? They got the trust babes. They should have it above the card as well. They should have, um, but it looks like, oh, because they have that stationary. They should be doing in-cut upsells as well. They should be doing bulk order discounts. Um, I don't know why. It obviously does slow down your website a little bit, but the, the benefit is your average order value will go up 10, 20% just from doing those few things. Okay, so they have it. So view, uh, enter shipping address. I don't know if they have a custom checkout, which they don't. Um, okay, I don't know how they have that on the actual checkout. I'll be honest with you there. Um, but they've done that, so good on them. They're, they're not using Conversion Pirate. I do recommend using Conversion Pirate. It adds a bit of scarcity and just, you know, they, they've gone to the degree of, of adding trust badges down here. Why don't they add it on their, their checkout page, right? You know, it's all about instilling trust. And so that's the core of what I always say. They're using Shopify payments, and I know that because if they were using Stripe, they wouldn't have Google Pay there, okay? So it's interesting how quickly and easily you can pick up on things once you've done a number of these reviews. 
What I'm trying to illustrate with all of this is these are huge stores, especially this store, six million people. However, if I was to 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 come in and help them uh, improve things or, or look at areas of improvement, it would just be these little things. They're not. It's not going to say that this is the reason between them going from what they are to triple their sales. It's just going to be little things that add such a big difference. All right, guys, and that is the, the key. You know, like they should be using uh, doing post purchase upsells. They should be, um, you know, post purchase upsells, pre upsells on your cart page, on your your product page. Um, you want to incentivize them to add more. You want to instill trust. Okay, it's it's really important stuff that people do that. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to provide that, but you can see these are three stores adding from, you know, three huge stores to absolutely ginormous stores. You're actually seeing one of the largest stores in the United States in terms of traffic that it gets. Um, and it's a dropshipping store, guys. So dropshipping is not dead. What's dead? is the old ways of doing it. You have to now think ahead of the box, and that's what I teach, okay? Uh, I I don't like to just make an average looking store. Every aspect of a store needs to be 150%, because if you wanna get ahead of the curve, you need to do that nowadays, all right, guys? So I hope this has been educational, all right? If you did really like this, I would love if you comment down below. Yes, it really helps me to understand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for as soon as I provide uh, another video. Uh, don't forget, there's my webinar. There's a link down below for my webinar. Okay, guys, really exciting. Seats are filling up fast. And also, don't forget, there's my cheat sheet down below, as well as follow me on Instagram, at Ricky Hayes IG. I'm posting awesome pictures. Um, I'm actually trying to get used to it. So, um, But I, I wanted to add, though, I hope everyone has had to have uh, a lovely New Year's, okay? I've been taking uh, a bit of a step back myself, okay? Uh, because it's important. And that's why I'm trying to... I still work 10, 15 hours a day, pretty much every day minimum, okay? Because I love what I do. But it's also important that starting in the new year, one of my resolutions is to work less, okay? And because I've put in the hard yards and we all put in the hard yards, but it's also, you know, we, we do this really, one, for passion, but two, we actually do it to get back our time, you know, and, and do things as we wish, okay, guys? So I just wanted to say, as a New Year's video, I encourage you all to spend more time with your partner, spend more time with your, your pets, uh, enjoying your various hobbies and activities, and uh, just enjoying your life as you see fit, whatever that may be. I really do hope we all have a lovely 2019. It's really... Uh, I see it as quite a privilege for me to be able to to help you all in your journeys. Okay, guys, I've uh, I can't believe it's been about six months now since I started doing YouTube. Okay, I started doing YouTube, my Facebook group, and uh, I never imagined that I would be here today. And it's it's a tough journey. There's no such thing as an easy journey, especially if you're becoming an entrepreneur. Every day is a new path. Okay, but we must always venture through it, guys. It's important that we always keep our heads high. No matter where you are in your journey, you should whether you've just literally started, whether you're making heaps of sales, whatever that may be, you should be proud because you're taking steps to put your life into a position to what you want to be. And there's nothing that you can't be more proud of than that. Okay, so I hope we all have a lovely 2019 together. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and goodbye.